Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about how the conflict in Sudan and what's what's going on. Okay, here's the thing. There's fight between the rapid support forces and the regular Sudanese army. Now, and it's the average Sudanese citizens that are getting caught in the line of fire. The rapid support forces and the regular Sudanese army used to be allies. They were both um, heavy loyal, heavily loyal to Omar al-Bashir's government. But when Omar al-Bashir's government collapsed right before 2020, um, it was supposed to be a democratic-led transition, but the Sudanese army um, took over that power but kind of didn't include the rapid support forces. Now, the rapid support forces were involved in a lot of atrocities in the Darfur conflict region in 2003, and then after that, they've been known to abuse a lot of human rights as well as the regular Sudanese army. So... There's a power struggle between the two of them, and it's lots of fighting between the regular Sudanese army and the rapid support forces, um, and that's a paramilitary unit that used to be a big-time unit within the regular Sudanese army. Now, just please keep praying for Sudan, and this is just a sad situation with what's going on. Um, the United States uh, evacuated a lot of its embassy staff. Most of its embassy staff went largely due to SEAL Team 6 doing that and evacuating them. But the average U.S., I mean, the, the U.S. citizens that were living outside the embassy uh, were not evacuated until recently, most of them. Now, there are some U.S. citizens that are choosing to, to stay in Sudan and ride out the conflict and keep them in your prayers. But... The UK had evacu has evacuated its citizens. South Korea has evacuated its citizens. Um, I think Canada had evacuated its citizens too before the United States. Now, the United States has evacuated its embassy staff very quickly, but President Biden had said that a large-scale operation to evacuate um, citizens outside the embassy uh, was not uh, in the planning soon. But finally, it got implemented, and the citizens have been evacuated, at least the ones that have chosen to be evacuated. So, hope everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless and Bye-bye.